right, we're going to talk about the FMCSA new entrant audit uh, for your own authority. So within the first year, you're going to receive an email and or a letter from the FMCSA requesting that you uh, upload documents to make sure uh, that you're compliant. That's basically what it is. So you'll receive a letter like this in the mail, and it basically states, action required, submit documents to complete required safety audit. And at the top right corner of the letter, you're going to have a carrier PIN number, which you'll need to log in. So, halfway down in the middle of the letter, you have a website. So, you go to the website, and you upload the documents that they're requesting, and hopefully everything you have is up to date and you're compliant. So, I'm going to tell you what I did, and uh, our company, which is just me and my wife, I did it in 10 minutes. It took me literally 10 minutes, and we passed. Okay, this is what we did. I looked on the back of the letter, or in your email, you just read your email, and you go down the list, one by one. Driver's list, vehicle list, proof of insurance, driver's medical certificate, driver's motor vehicle record, driver's license, vehicle inspections if you had any, make sure you're in the drug and alcohol consortium, accident records, that's it. Or if you have hazmat and you have other hazmat stuff you have to do, we don't hazmat because we don't do hazmat no more. But this is what I did and this is why I'm going to tell you guys what the auditor told me. He said, do not try to do this on your iPhone, your Apple phone, iPhone, whatever, your smartphone. Do not try to do it that way because it's not going to work. He said, try to do it on a tablet or your laptop. So, luckily on the truck, I had a laptop. So, I used my laptop. Actually, I used my tablet. Actually, I use my tablet. I have my tablet. I use my tablet. And um, I had all the documents and everything. So I laid the documents out and I took pictures with my tablet of all the documents. Went on the website, put my PIN number in, and then right there, everything is self explanatory. What I do is hit this button, say upload, upload this document. What are you uploading? Oh, I'm uploading. Uh, Vehicle list. Hit submit. Boom. It'll say upload it. Now you go to the next one. Do another upload. Okay, now I'm uploading my MVR record. Hit another button. Boom. Then it'll come up again. Upload successful. And just keep going all the way down the list. Just keep going all the way down the list. Just make sure that all your paperwork is up to date. You're in compliance. That's all you want to know. If you're in compliance... And that none of your drivers have any, like, any issues, basically. You know? And it only takes one driver for you to submit the information to. So, if one driver has this that's good, and one driver has this that's good, submit what they have good. They only want information from one driver. That's it. That's it. I mean, it... it, 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 it it was that simple. It took me 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And then once you complete it, then you will get a letter like this here that says that you passed. That says that you passed. And you put this with all your paperwork. You put this with all your paperwork. It says that you passed. So, that's all I wanted to say. It's very easy. Don't, don't, don't over stress yourself because it is it's it's not that bad it's not that bad really very easy very easy take your time make sure you just follow that list and go by the list and just take a picture of everything 
or just upload everything after asking, like in order. That's what I did, in order. Passed. It took me 10 minutes. Literally 10 minutes. I hope this helped you guys out. All right, Waxo Trucking LLC.